Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark Experiment on our quest to survive for 500 days on Interloper with a bit of a twist. This is episode 48. Let's go ahead and resume our game. Alright, uh, when last we left off, we uh, made it here to the Prepper's Cache in Pleasant Valley. Uh, looks like it is just barely morning. Had a nice, uh, nice sleep. As you, as you can see, we've uh, recovered all of our health. Uh, looks like we're doing pretty good for food and water. And I think we're just kind of in between uh, transition here as we're making our way probably to um, Thompson's Crossing, I think is where we decided the bear skins are. We'd really like to uh, craft up a bear skin coat here. Um, now, I was pretty heavy bringing lots of uh, gear back with us, so I want to take just a minute and kind of get organized. Let's see what I am carrying and what, what we want to drop. As far as firewood goes, of course, we have all of those matches. So, so many matches. Um, did I leave some here? Let me get our light out. I'm, I'm sure it's really dark for you guys. Oh, there's some right there. Okay, wood matches. Yeah, we've got a lantern. Okay, nice. Um, one thing I gotta remember is we are super, super, um, oh gosh, what's, what do I want to say? The, uh, the tools we have, what is it? The, uh, hacksaw. Yeah, super, super worn out. Um, and also our, our, uh, can opener. So I need to get those fixed up. I think we have some tools at Thompson's Crossing. Um which is where we're heading. I'm trying to decide if I want to break down some of these shelves to possibly take with us. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, uh, let's go um, each category and see what we want to drop, if anything. Now these matches, I probably want to drop them somewhere central, like either Thompson's Crossing, Community Hall, or the farmhouse or the barn or something. So I'll carry those with me. I do, oh wow, I got 26 uh, sticks. We can drop some of those. Um, medicals looking pretty good. I actually probably need some more tea. Uh, I need to start uh, harvesting more rose hips and uh, mushrooms because I think we're getting kind of low. Okay, I do remember picking up lots of clothing. How much cloth do we have, by the way? I have one piece of cloth. So I'm actually gonna harvest some of these uh, clothing items that we don't need, like this shirt here. Let's uh, let's harvest that up. I like to have maybe I don't know three, three or four cloth at least. Um, what other cloth? We got these socks. Let's harvest these. And we got some. Wool socks, um, 38, they're both 38%. Hmm, maybe I'll leave, maybe I'll leave these. Put them in the locker. Wait a minute, are there th how many lockers are there? Four lockers, yeah, I think I like this locker the best. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got these Levi's we're not using. We've got some shoes, um, new sweatshirt, and the two socks. Looks like everything else we are using. Okay, as far as food goes, we've got we've got a lot of food. Um, Actually, not that much. We did leave a lot of food back at the uh, at the Mountaineer's Hut. I think I'll keep all of these. Okay, as far as tools go... Let's see. Let's unload this. I think I, think I have some tea in here. Drop that. Cured sapling. Green. Oh, I should have dropped that before I went to sleep. 
Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, two cured rabbit pelts. I think our gloves are in pretty good shape. Yeah, they are. Okay, I'm going to put the rabbit pelt in here. I'll put a birch in here. Cured maple sapling. Um, I think I might take that. I take it with us. Okay, I think we're just about ready to go. Let me turn on the lantern here. We'll have a little look around. Is there anything else we need? We've got four pieces of coal. Oh, stem. All right, we're going to take that with us. And the practical gunsmithing. We'll take that. Okay. My guess is that I left a note. Let's see, I probably left a note saying that I have that stem here. Coastal Highway, let's see, Ash Canyon, Timberwolf Mountain. Pleasant Valley, here we go. Barn, Thompson's Crossing, Bear Cave. Prepper's cache by the rope to Timberwolf Mountain. Okay, we're taking the stem with us. Got two rabbit pills, two guts, one lantern. Yeah, that all looks good. Okay. Um, I think I will. Let's break down this metal lamp. 15 minutes. Okay. Let's go see what the weather's like. A little bit of snow. Um, it is not super cold. Let's drop some of these sticks here. Let's see, firewood. Let's have some breakfast. Okay. Get a uh, get a torch out, just in case we run into some wolves, which is very likely. So I'm really not sure what we're gonna do after we craft up a, a bearskin coat. We still have a lot of areas left to explore. We haven't been to Desolation Point. Wait, I keep mixing that up. Not Desolation Point, Bleak Inlet. We haven't been to Bleak Inlet. Um, we haven't been to Black Rock. We haven't been to Broken Railroad or the Airfield. I think it might be kind of fun to head to Broken Railroad. I like that. Uh, that part of the map. Um, Bleak Inlet would be fun if we finally got our archery leveled up. If we, got, uh, if we were level 5 archery, then I could crouch while we are uh, shooting. Okay. I hope the, uh, the wreck is up here, the, uh, the car wreck. I kind of got turned around a little bit. I think this is the right way, though. Yeah, here's here's a car wreck. When we came through here before, we were in kind of a hurry. I think I was really... Uh, I think I was freezing or something. So I don't think we ever really searched these. Oh, good. Got some cloth. Let's open that.
wonder what the wolves are howling about today. I might stop at the bear cave and uh, make a fire. I think I've got some meat over there. And we have that, uh, there's a deer that we never even harvested over by the bear cave. Damn, I'm freezing. Alright, give us something good. Maybe another hacksaw. Would be nice. this scrawled message she's been hoarding those stems and hiding them in the piano god knows why deal with it <laughs> he's talking about the crazy cat lady who plays the organ at the church or something or the piano <laughs> there's a secret note this is a telling us where there's a hidden stash nice okay well we'll have to check that out thompson's crossing church Crazy cat lady. Well, we got a piece of cloth and some feathers out of that. That's pretty much all there was here. Maybe I'll jog a little bit. So we are, we're taking damage. Um, now, last time we came through here, there were some ptarmigan just across the bridge. But we didn't stop to, uh, to get them. I wonder if they're still there. Just gotta watch out for the wolves. There could be a wolf, like, right over this hill, even. Okay, let's see if there's some ptarmigan over here. I don't hear any uh, noises. No ptarmigan today. We're almost to the bear cave. Man, I could use a drink. I think we are pretty low on water. I saw. Um, I think we're only at like 0.7 liters. So I think I need to get some water cooked up here pretty soon. Okay, there's a deer kill. Let's go in the cave and get warmed up. Is this cooked or raw? It's all raw. Okay, we'll bring some of that inside. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. I think we do have a little bit of cooked meat. Hey bear. There's no bear in here, right? That should all be cured. Yeah, nice. A little bit of meat. And a cured black bear hide. Nice. Alright, well, let's get a fire going. Uh, you know, I'm. I'm going to take the charcoal. Let's go for it. 
and then um, start a fire, okay. I really haven't been doing very much mapping. And uh, I'd like to start doing a little bit more. I think it would be fun to kind of settle down in one area for a while at some point and uh, maybe just map all over the place. All right, let's drop the meat. I might want to get two fires going so that we can, um, I can cook some water. Maybe I'll do that. Let's get a fire going right here. Come on, little fire. I really like having these little pockets of meat and shelter. It's nice being able to just show up and have some food ready for you. Perfect. I'm going to do two liters because we are really pretty short on water. And uh, I'm also kind of short on tea at the same time. All right. Let's pass some time here. Fifteen minutes. I don't want to stay here too long. Just uh, stay long enough to do a little bit of cooking. Get our water cooked up. Okay. So this one is cooked. And these are cooked. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Drop them outside. Right here. Yeah, those are all cooked. Okay, good. Um, do we want to mess with the deer? I'm out of fuel. How's this looking? 27 minutes. Ooh, still just embers? Oh, I gotta harvest them. And it burned out. Okay. I think I can resume that water. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try something. Let's see if I light this. And then light this. I wonder if the if the water continues where it left off. Hopefully, it doesn't start over. Come on, little fire. Come on. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I think it. Uh... I think it picked up where it left off. Okay, how are these doing? 31 minutes. Let's see if there's any sticks out here.
Any sticks today? That should be enough just to get us by. Oh, there's some more down here. The wolves are so noisy today. Just howling all over the map. I think they're spreading the word that Astrid is back. Okay, um, I do want to take the bear hide with us. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. And probably the guts. You know what? Let's just take all these guts. I'll leave two guts here. Better update our journal. Mystery Lake, Pleasant Valley, Bear Cave by the uh, mine. There we go. Wait. Lots of guts, lots of meat. Okay. We'll change this to lots of meat. Okay, I'm going to drop this meat out uh, outside. We're going to be a little bit heavy uh, walking to Thompson's Crossing, but it's, it's really not that far. That's not too bad. All right, I need to cook up some tea so we can be warm. Bear meat is cooked. All right, um, eat some of this. Let's cook um, some tea. Gonna be nice and warm, that's good. Okay, we've got two pieces of meat. I may want to take some more with us to Thompson's Crossing. I'll have to think about that. I also might want to get that uh, deer hide. Let's go ahead and drink it up. Okay, let's bring these outside. You know what? I'm gonna take. Oh, there's no charcoal. Okay. I probably should have mapped. You know what? I should have done that. Well, while, while the fire was cooking there. I should have come out here and done some mapping. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave it. Leave the deer hide for another day. But I will take some of this cooked meat with us. It's a little bit on the slow side. Probably get a wolf's uh, attention as we walk over to Thompson's Crossing, but that's okay. Got plenty of torches. I really don't remember how much food we left at the community hall. So I kind of want to bring this meat with us. I 
probably have lots of water over there because they got we got this six burner stove. Um, so I would imagine we got lots of water at the community center. But I don't remember if we have any meat. And uh, one thing I, I like about all the killing, like the uh, hunting and stuff we've done with, uh, with these bears is I've kind of had the luxury of not having to dig so much into our canned food. Um, for example, I was able to leave a whole bunch of canned food back at the uh, mountaineering hut. Hey, Wolfie! Walk with this much gear. We are pretty heavy. Yeah, we're very, very heavy. All right. Got another wolf. All right, now he's behind us, so that's fine. You can just stay behind us. Except there is a wind coming. I can hear the wind, guys. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about this wind. Try to get across the river here. Hope I'm going the right way. I kind of steered off of the road. I think if we head this way, it'll get us where we're going. Right now I'm just mostly concerned about this wind. It's gonna, any second now it's going to blow out my torch. And it's slowing us down. Yeah, I hope this is the right way. See some birch trees up there. Let's see if I can get some shelter from the wind right here. Oh man, it's really slowing me down. I am looking forward to getting rid of all these matches. We have like uh, one and a half kilograms of matches. I keep hauling around. There's a little bit of wind shelter right there. Uh, maybe I should get rid of this guy. What do you think? Will we have a little bit of wind break? All right, come on, Wolfie. Except now he's gonna go in front of me, isn't he? Okay, we've crossed the river. I think if we head this way, uh, it, this should be Thompson's Crossing coming up. Yeah, there we go. We could even stop by the church. Uh, so we got that note about the crazy cat lady with the organ or the piano. We'll swing by the church on our way to the uh, community hall. Wait a minute. Is this, is this right? I think I've gone too far. This is the old is the what, unlucky farm or something like that. I can't remember what this is called. Lonely Homestead. 
I think we have already searched here. Where's the crows? All right, let's see. Let's see if this guy has anything. Don't remember if we've already been here. Yeah, we've already been here. Oh, keep getting lag. Well, I think this comes out by the barn, actually. So maybe maybe we'll head to the barn because you know what? That's actually probably a good idea because the barn has the uh, the workbench. That's really what we need is a workbench. There's also a chance we could come across the moose. Keep our eyes out for the moose. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, there's a rabbit. Hey, rabbit. Looks like a fat one from here. He looks pretty chunky. I didn't see any more birch bark. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, Moose, are you here? I don't hear the moose. Well, I think that was a pretty good uneventful crossing. It seems like uh, usually when I approach the barn, there's a blizzard that blows in and then I get all turned around. There's a little bit of fog, but I think we should be okay. I do believe it's right over the hill. There it is. So I've missed Thompson's Crossing. Thompson's Crossing is going to be over that way. So I, I went too far to the, to the right. I should have gone a little bit more to the left, but I actually think it's worked out in our favor because the barn is going to uh, allow us to craft up this uh, bearskin coat. We've got plenty of water. We have some food with us. I think I I think I do have some bear, bear meat here at the barn. And there's at least one bearskin here, I think. So with the bearskin we're carrying and the bearskin that we have here at the barn, and we have a bunch of guts, we should be able to get this uh, bearskin coat crafted up. Oh yeah, look at all this meat. Yeah, really like to see that. Okay, let's drop all the meat we're carrying. Uh, looks like my torch is about out. I don't think we need to keep a fire going, but uh, just in case I'll light the torch again. Yeah, all this is raw, uncooked. All right, let's head inside. Okay, well, I do have some metal we could break down. It's good to know. All right, welcome back to the barn. It's good to be back. It's been quite a while since we were here. There's another bear hide right there. A couple of guts, wolf hide. Nice. Ooh, I better drop the saplings I have. I've got some green saplings. Those are cured. It's cured. It's green. All right, let's drop those. Get those curing. Uh, I need to repair our tools right away as well before I forget. Um, do I have a workbench here, right? It's, oh, it's metal table. Okay. Let me just take a look at what metal we have to work with. 
Okay, we're, we got a few little shelves and things. Um, I'm gonna put our torch out. Don't think we uh, need to keep a fire going. Two hours, 15 minutes. Um, let me see if there's some tools up here first before we start damaging our saw some more. Ooh, got some lag. We start a new video here. Let's wait for things to load in, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's see. I'm guessing if I had tools, I would have left them down by the entrance. I don't think I would have left them up here. So I think, you know what? I think I left our tools at Thompson's Crossing. Uh, but at any rate, we do have the workbench here. So I might get started on this. Let's see, what condition is our... Hacksaw's at 25%. Yeah. Um, let me... I'm going to check our notes and see where exactly we left the tools. So Ash Canyon, Timberwolf Mountain, Coastal Highway. Here we go. Pleasant Valley. Barn. Uh, Thompson's Cross Community Hall. We got four deer hides, two bear pelts, one quality tools. There we go. Quality tools are at Thompson's Crossing. So I'm going to try not to use my hacksaw until we get over there. Um, in the meantime, though, I do want to get started on this bear hide. Get a drink. Let's see what time of day it is here. Sun is going down. Okay. Well, we'll probably end up sleeping here. I'm just going to try to get this going as long as it will let me. It's probably going to cancel as soon as it gets dark here, but let's try it. All right, let's go. All right, too dark. Let's get our lantern out. Looks like it's time for bed anyway. Now, somebody was saying that it doesn't hurt to drop down here every time. I, I did accidentally drop down here last time and it didn't hurt. So, uh, let's go for it. Oh, hey, we can actually run on the board. It's good to know. All right, let's put our lantern out. I think I'll sleep in the truck tonight. Um, I don't think we need our sleeping bag. So maybe I'll just sleep without it. Let's see. I think the air temperature is pretty warm in here. Yeah, I don't think we need our sleeping bag. Um, so we'll just sleep without it. Is it gonna? Let's see how. I think I have to use my sleeping bag. Rest. Yeah. I think the only way to not use it is if I unequip it, maybe? I don't know. Either way, we're going to, um, let's try to sleep. Sleep for 10 hours. Oh, I better get a drink first. We'll be smart. Um, okay, let's try that again. Sleep. 10 hours. I'll see you guys. Yeah, yeah, in the morning. I think that should be about right. Ooh, got an Aurora. That would have been nice. It's okay. We were tired anyway. Let's get a drink. Looks like the sun has come up, so we can craft. Um, yeah, let's get out of the vehicle. Get our lantern lit so we can see where we're going. Oh, here's some loot right here. Um, I'm going to pick these up because... Oops. And I probably have stuff in here too. Let's check this locker. Seems like I usually use... Um, huh. I usually use the little shelf by the entrance to uh, keep my loot. So I'll take I'll take the bullets and the gun cleaning kits.
All right, let's put that out. We'll need to get a drink before we get started here, but I wanted to check the journal here. Um, Pleasant Valley, where are you? Barn, one bear hide, lots of gusts, two rabbit hides, bullets, gun cleaning, kits. Okay. Take those off. Okay, so, and we're going to take the bear hide off. Lots of guts, two rabbit hides, four saplings, wolf. Okay, sounds good. Um, oh yeah, gotta get a drink. Let's make sure we're hydrated. Let's get to work on our bearskin coat. 35 hours, wow. Uh, let's try it. I'll, I'll, you know what? Let's do um, let's do eight hours. Oh, I gotta get some food. Okay, I'm gonna cancel. Um, gotta get some food. Okay, let's see. This is the shelf that I'm thinking of. This is where I usually leave loot. Uh, speaking of which, I need to find food. I'll drop those for now. Let's go get some food. We're so hungry. Okay, there's the raw meat. These should all be cooked. You know, we could take a little break from crafting and uh, run over to Thompson's Crossing. I kind of like having the barn as our central location better than Thompson's Crossing. So I'm going to uh, let's drop a bunch of stuff we don't need here. Try to get lightweight. Uh, I'm going to drop our saw. And oh yeah, we got to, we got a bunch of books. And how about all these matches? Got so many matches. Okay, that's much better. Um, maybe I'll drop these as well. Ton of matches. All right, let's drop some sticks over here. How much water am I carrying? Not that much. Okay, I probably need to get some more water here pretty soon then. Okay, fire equipment is looking pretty good. You know, maybe I'll drop this for now. Um, we don't need four stems. Drop those. Clothing is good. Food. Let's drop these and these. I think tools are okay. Drop that for now. Uh, I'm going to drop it over here. drop that for now. Um, I'll have to pick that up when we resume. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, when we resume crafting, I'll have to pick that up again. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's looking pretty good. Let's, uh, let's head over to Thompson's Crossing. We're nice and lightweight. Oh, I love it.
really like the feeling of being lightweight. Okay, I think I need to go this way. Let me just orient myself. I always look at the rooster at the top of the barn. He's pointing to the road. So that way's the road. Thompson's Crossing is going to be over this way. Oh, I should have left our crummy bow back. That's all right. gonna get cold. Yeah, I can't believe how cold, how quickly we get cold here. Okay, I think the church might be over here. I think there can be some rabbits over here too. Maybe I should keep an eye out for those. Don't see any rabbits. Maybe it's over here that I'm thinking of. That rock right there. That's probably it. Wait, have I gone? I haven't gone too far yet, have I? I think this is the right way. that a rabbit? There's a rabbit right there. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do things right for a change. Um, we'll use our low quality bow. Use our fire hardened arrows. Rabbit, where are you going? I can't really get you up there. All right. He's coming back down. Oh, come on, rabbit. Come over this way. Don't want to scare him. Alright, come on back. Let's try this again. Now there's usually at least two. Well, I don't see the other one. There's the church we're looking for, with the uh, cat lady's piano stash. Sounds like there might be a stim in there. Is there any birch bark? Kind of a nice stained glass window. I like that. I always love stained glass. Alright, let's head inside. There we go. Yeah, it looks better with the light coming coming through the stained glass. 
Okay, um, oh yeah, look at the ground. Nice colors on the ground. Okay, let's check the crazy cat lady's hidden piano stash. Well, this stuff will come in Painkillers? Aw, oh, I was really hoping for a stem. Is that the only stash? That poor cat lady, she's been popping painkillers. Alright, well, at least we're warming up. Um, got some cloth. Let's grab some of this. We'll use our hand. Warm up a little bit while we're uh, getting some cloth. I hope you'll forgive me if you are uh, sensitive to religious things. Uh, this reminds me so much of a movie I saw as a kid, Holy Water. Um, Monster Squad was the name of the movie. These kids were fighting monsters. It's kind of like I think it was an attempt to to like copy the Goonies. But uh, they used all the original monsters like Dracula and Wolfman and stuff like that. And these kids uh, were fighting these monsters. Of course, the adults, I, I think the adults didn't believe them or something. But anyway, uh, they, I remember there was one scene where the kids run into the church with their squirt guns. And they fill up their squirt guns with holy water um, and use the squirt guns to battle, uh, you know, the, the demons or monsters or whatever. It's kind of kind of iconic scene. I don't know why why I remembered that, but... These kids barge in during, I think it was during a service, they barge in during a service and then fill up their water guns with holy water to take out the uh, the monsters. Alright, let's go. I did start watching some of the old monster movies again recently. Old black and white, uh, Frankenstein, and Dracula, classic. All right, let's make our way back to uh, Community Hall. Unfortunately, tonight is not bingo night, guys. I think bingo's on Thursdays or Tuesdays. I can't feel my hands. I do have the rabbit with me. I gotta re remember to harvest that. Wednesdays. Wednesdays at eight o'clock. A little bit of meat. Okay, wow, look at all this stuff. We got uh, rabbit hides. Um, I think I want to take all this. I'm going to bring it to the barn. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I'll leave one cured gut. Hey, there's quality tools right there. That's what we need. Um, you know what? I'm going to take the water. I'm not sure I can carry much more. So one good thing this place has going for it is the stove. But otherwise, I think the uh, I think the barn is a better location. Got some clothing here. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave the clothing. Um, do I want a map? Let's take a look at our map. Did I map uh, already this location? I don't think I have mapped uh, the community hall. Maybe I'll go map real quick. I might take a little bit of damage doing this. Oh, sure getting cold. Oh yeah, we're taking damage. We have, okay. But it did open up a little bit more. Good. Um, whoops, wrong button. Okay. So Let me cold. see. I just want to lay down for a bit. Take these with us. Maybe the skillet.
I mean, I don't want to get like super heavy, but I would like to take a lot of this with us. We got lots of books. Huh. Okay, um... Maybe I'll take a little bit of firewood. Oh, the fur is heavy. Flour, I'll take that. Maybe I'll take some books. I can barely walk with this much gear. Okay, um, yeah, we're pretty heavy. Oh, and there's another bear hide. Wow, okay. Um, maybe I'll leave a bear hide here and a rabbit hide. Drop another gut. Okay. All right, I'm gonna update our journal. Pleasant Valley, Thompson's Crossing, Community Hall. So we took the, the uh, bear hides and the deer hide. I will leave one, we'll leave one bear hide. Um, we're taking the tools, let's cross that off and the revolver and the gun cleaning kits. Uh, we're leaving the rabbit hide. Change that to two guts instead of four. We're taking the skillet. We'll leave the thermos. We're taking the sewing kits. We're taking the crackers. Um, there's a little bit of water meat. We'll leave that. Um, there's really not much cookie ingredients. I am leaving the salt, but I don't need to. I don't need to write that down. We're taking the ptarmigan down with us. Okay, we're gonna move all that to uh, over to a more central location. Now, why would I shut this door? Have I not searched in here? I did search here. Why? Why would I shut the door? It's weird. Okay, we're a bit on the heavy side. We're gonna get cold, take some more damage, but I mean, it is what it is. Wow. One of these days we'll be able to use a revolver. Kind of nice. We're getting pretty close. You know, every shot we take, like uh, taking out those rabbits, we are slowly leveling up our archery skill. And uh, level 5 archery is quite an accomplishment. You know, it's not just going to be handed to us. I think I can kind of cut across this way. That's that's uh, the direction we should be heading, I think. A little bit heavier than I would like to be, but um, I think it is a good idea to get all this gear back to the barn. It's kind of a more central location. Hopefully we don't run into a wolf. I don't especially want to take the time to mess with a wolf right now. So we got plenty of meat back at the barn. Did I we say got some crows. I hate being cold, I really do. There's is that a rabbit or a wolf coming at us? Might be a deer, actually. I think we got a deer up ahead. I'm not sure what those crows are uh, circling. Let's stop and check out what's going on over there. It's a nice clear day. 
it is awfully cold. Do we want to take a shot on this guy? I don't think so. I, th I think I just want to stay focused on the bear. Wait. I've got plenty of meat. I've got, uh, got lots of deer hides. If, uh, if we see a wolf take out the deer, I will go for it, but otherwise I think I'll just let him be. Okay, now what are you guys on about? Oh, we got another deer kill. I'm gonna leave it. I'd really like to get this bear skin crafted up. We'll take the sticks, though. Okay, I think we're pretty close. I, I do believe that's the bridge where we had the bear die. Right on the edge of the bridge. And then, so just over that, I think that is going to be our barn. I'll head up this way. We'll take the, take the bridge across the river. Maybe I will switch to a torch. Um, that way, if, if we do get attacked by a wolf, um, I'd rather just scare him off than try to shoot him. You know, I think crafting a Travois probably would be a smart thing here in this valley. Um, would have been nice to have all this gear that we're carrying right now. You know, I, I think we can put that on the Travois. I've never actually crafted one, so I'm not sure um, how it works or how long it takes, all that. I'll have to look at that. Maybe when we get to the, uh, the barn, we could look at the uh, crafting menu options. Nice having the fire striker, so I don't accidentally misclick and waste a match. Yeah, here's where the bear died. We made our campfire here to harvest up the bear. And no sign of the moose. We're actually kind of hoping to have a moose spawn near near the barn. Weather's uh, weather was kind of kind of clear and nice for us, but uh, took a lot of cold damage in the process. But uh, that should that should heal up nicely when we sleep. Not too worried about that. I think going outside was a nice breath of fresh air too, because uh, it seems like every time I craft the bear skin, we get cabin fever. It's good to come out, get a breath of fresh air. got to be pretty hungry from walking all that way. Let's get some meat. Make sure it's the cooked meat. I think this is the raw pile. Here's the cooked meat. That guy who all right, drove let's get inside. Doesn't seem so crazy right now. Okay, nice. Um, first thing I want to do is get this uh, hacksaw fixed up. Right there. Let's pick up our bear hide and some cured guts. Do I want to drop anything? Yeah, I probably want to drop like some hides or something. Got all those deer hides. Ok, 
Okay. That's probably good enough. Let's head up the stairs. Get some work done on our bearskin coat. It's getting kind of late. Let's get a drink. Thirty-two hours remaining. Let's try for eight hours. Probably only do a few, but we'll see what happens. Okay, it's too dark. Um, let's see. I guess we'll just head down to the the truck. Get our lantern lit. Drop down. Let's get a drink. I'm curious if we'll get an Aurora tonight. Um, I do want to sleep for 10 hours though. I'm going to pass time a little bit. Let's see if we can sleep for 10 hours. If we can heal up. Oh, we got lots of birch bark. Nice. Tinder plugs. Okay, let's see. I think I'll pass time just a little bit. I think right about there. Maybe just a little bit more. Maybe right there is good. All right, let's get a drink. Then I'm going to try to sleep for 10 hours. See you guys in the morning. Oh, there was another Aurora. Of course. Alright. Oh, what did that say? You've survived 90 days, 2 hours, 34 minutes. Oh, we're so close to 100 days. Fully rested. Got the whole day ahead of us. Man, guys, the, uh, the bearskin coat is no joke as far as taking, uh, well, as far as an accomplishment in the game. I mean, it takes so much time to uh, get this crafted up. How are we doing for food, by the way? Ooh, kind of kind of hurting for food. Um, you know, I'm going to craft a little bit, then we'll go outside and get some food. Um, fully Okay, I'm fully hydrated. Switch to our improvised knife. 27 hours remaining. I'm so glad we have all this meat here. All I can think about is food. Okay, I'm gonna cancel there. Getting really hungry. And really, I should probably drop some of the gear we're carrying. It's so heavy. Let's go get a get some food first. I need a horse. Oh, a rabbit. I forgot about that. So All right, I better harvest this rabbit. Straight. Let's go inside. Completely forgot about our rabbit. Let's get a drink. One kilo of meat. Oh, our poor hacksaw. I need to fix that up. I'm going to use our hands. I'm afraid if I use the hacksaw, it's going to break. So i got to fix it up. 
Okay, let's get the hide. 28 minutes. And do I want the guts? Sure. outside. I do want to uh, let's fix up our tools before I forget. Oh, where's my scrap metal? I dropped it here somewhere. There it is. Nice. 50%. Feeling better about that. Uh, I probably should break down that, uh, should go break down that shelf, but first I want to drop some of this stuff. So we've got all these books, let's drop those. Got some firewood. So I can't remember, did we decide, are these books, are they uh, phone books or are they journals that she collects? She goes around to all the different houses and reads about Great Bear Island, learns about the history of the place. I think they might be journals. And when she's done reading them, she, uh, she burns them. That is my guess. Ninety bullets. Wow. It's kind of like a trophy rack. I like, uh, I really like seeing all the loot laid out like that. Okay, we got our skillet. Let's leave that here. I think I'll hang on to the tools now. Um, can drop all this food. We're gonna keep the good quality one for our friend Larry Berry. Drop these. Um, drop the potatoes and the salt and the flour. Drop a couple of these uh, crackers, I think. These crackers are like trophies. If you can avoid it, you want to try not to eat the crackers. Let's put our stems up here too. Did I just pick up the other stem? Yeah, I did. Okay. Put all these matches up here.
Okay. Let's put the uh, salt and the broth up here. In real life, my uh, my stomach's growling. I'm actually talking about foods making me hungry. Okay, it's looking better. These books, and, you know, I'll put these put these over here for now. Okay, what all are we carrying? Two cured guts, all right. Um, fresh rabbit pelt, let's drop that. Got the bear hides. I do want to cut up that uh, metal shelf before I forget. I do want to put the meat outside. Getting kind of low on water. Clothing's good, medical's good. Fire's good. Okay, we're in good shape now. Um, we'll drop the sticks here. Alright, let's put the meat outside. It's kind of getting dark, isn't it? Yeah. Put the raw meat over here. Go. Let's have a look at the uh, sunset. A little bit of haze in the air here, but not too bad. All right, guys, I think this is where we're going to call it an episode. We're so close to getting this uh, bearskin coat finished up. I think in the next episode, it'll be our first priority. We'll get that finished up, we'll get our tools in good shape, the can opener, and the hacksaw. And then, uh, you know what? Let me know. Leave leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you where you think we should go next. I think we should head for the Forsaken Airfield, maybe. Broken Railroad area. I'm kind of leaning that way, but I'm also open up to uh, other suggestions. I'd love to hear what you guys think we should do. Thanks so much for coming along. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you, if you have just a second. I'd much appreciate it. Best thing you can do to help out the channel is to subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, I am trying to grow the channel. And it would be so appreciated if, you, uh, if you're not subscribed yet. Um, but most importantly, guys, I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care. <laughs>